Hello everyone, welcome back to Public Connect. This is another video of Lead Generation series. Today we are going to learn how to send email and SMS to new Facebook leads. Suppose I am having an event management company for which I am running an ad campaign on my Facebook page. And now I want that whenever a new lead will be generated through Facebook lead ads, automatically to the same lead an email should be sent through Gmail. And at last I also want to send an SMS to the same lead. So how we are going to do this process automatically and effortlessly. For that we will have to integrate all these applications and for that we are going to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now what we are going to do, we have Facebook lead ads in our trigger, Gmail and Twilio in our action. In the place of Twilio you can also take any other application through which you want to send SMS to your Facebook leads. And now we are going to connect all of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that whenever a new lead will be generated through Facebook lead ads, how can we send automated email and SMS to that lead? Okay, so here's the Facebook page which I have created for my event management company and I'm going to promote this business with the help of lead gen form. So I have created a registration form and whenever a person is going to fill that registration form and register themselves for my upcoming event, automatically I want to capture the response and send an automated email as well as SMS to the same person regarding the event. Okay, now here in order to send the email, I am going to use Gmail and to send the SMS, I am going to use Twilio, which is an amazing application to send SMS. If you want, you can also use any other application here. Now, in order to create this automation, we will have to integrate Facebook lead ads with Gmail and Twilio. And for doing that, I am going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing automation and integration software. Now here, this is the homepage of Pabli Connect, where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect. This URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page, we can find two options here, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account and it is not going to take more than two minutes. Also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test amazing automations. So as I am already an existing user, therefore I am clicking on sign in. And this is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. Now to create this workflow, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it is going to take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows and we can also create multiple folders here in order to save our workflows. So as you can find that I have two folders here in this test integration folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. So in the same manner, you can save your workflows by creating different folders. Okay, now in order to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. Let's click on it and here a dialog box is appeared in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us give a name. So I have given the name as send email and SMS to Facebook leads automatically. You can give any name to your workflows according to your choice. Now after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save this workflow. So here from the drop down, I am going to select test integrations folder as I want to save this workflow in this particular folder. After selecting the folder, let's click on create. And here we can find that as we do that, two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. Trigger is the very first step of every workflow and it initiates the entire workflow. Basically whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command in the entire workflow and the action are going to follow the same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions. So let's understand the concept of trigger and action once again with the example of this workflow. Here we are going to take Facebook lead ads in our trigger and let's say Gmail in our action. And we want that whenever a new lead will be generated through Facebook lead ads, automatically the response should be captured here in Pabli Connect and by using the same response and emails should be sent to the same lead by using Gmail. Okay, so here the action is the response towards the trigger. Now after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating this workflow. First of all, we will select our trigger application which is Facebook lead ads and after selecting the application we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger. So here we have two options. We are going to select new lead instant as our trigger event as we want that whenever a new lead will be generated in Facebook lead ads automatically the response of the same lead should be captured here in Pabli Connect and the workflow should get trigger. Okay so let's select trigger event and now we will click on connect. 
Here are two options. I am going to click on add new connection to build a new connection with Facebook lead ads. If you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. After clicking on add new connection, we have to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. And here we can find that automatically our authorization has become successful. Since I was already logged into my Facebook account, the authorization has become successful very easily and Facebook lead ads is connected with Pabli Connect. So you also have to keep in mind always to keep logged into your Facebook account before making up a connection with Pabli Connect. Now we will move on and here we have to select the Facebook page and the lead gen form associated with that page. Let me take you to my Facebook account and here after coming on the account we can find that I have multiple options of Facebook pages. Now I have created this page named as Sparkle Evenings for my event management company and I am going to promote this particular page with the help of lead gen form. So basically I have created a registration form for my event which is free of cost and I want that whenever a person is going to fill that form automatically the response of the same lead should be captured here in Public Connect and once the details of the lead will be captured in Public Connect it will help me to send automated emails and SMS to the same leads and with this I will be able to connect with my leads further. So here in order to build a connection with my leads I am going to organize an event for which I have created a registration form and once a person is going to fill that form automatically the details of the same person will be captured and an email and SMS will be sent to the same person informing further about the event. With this I will be able to connect with my leads further. Okay so here in Public Connect we will select the page as Sparkle Evenings from the drop down. And we can find that automatically the lead gen form associated with the pages selected over here. So I have multiple forms. Among them, I want to select this new contact lead form. As I want that whenever a person is going to fill this form and register themselves for the event, then only the response of the same should be captured here in Public Connect. Now after selecting the page in the lead gen form, we will click on save and send test request. And we can find that it is showing waiting for webhook response. Now what does this mean? Now we have to do a test submission so that the response could be captured here in Public Connect. How we are going to do that? By filling up this lead gen form. And in order to do that test submission, let me take you to Meta for Developers. And here after coming on it, we have to go on My Apps. After coming on My Apps, we can find the option of Tools. And when we will click on tools, it is going to take us towards developer tools. Under other developer tools, we will find the option of lead ads RTU debug tool. Let's click on it and it is going to take us towards lead ads testing tool. So this lead ads testing tool is going to help us to test our integration. So basically with the help of this tool, we are going to test our integration by filling up the form. And as soon as we will fill up the form, the response will be captured in Public Connect. So this tool is going to help us in order to send the test response to Public Connect. Okay, so first of all, let us select the page. So here, this is the page Sparkle Evenings. And the form which I want is already selected as new contact lead form. Now we will click on preview form to fill it. But before that it is written that you can create one lead per form. You will have to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So here before creating a new lead we will have to delete an existing lead if you have any. Okay, so we will click on delete lead. And after the lead has been deleted, we have to refresh this page once. This is very important step. Every time we will delete one existing lead, we have to refresh the page and then again we have to select our Facebook page and the lead gen form. Okay, so that a new form could be open in front of us. Let's click on preview form. And here the form is open. Now we will submit the form by filling up the details. Here because we are doing a test submission, therefore I'm going to enter dummy details. Let's start with contact number. So here I'm going to enter a random contact number. A random email, first name, let's say demo, and the last name, let's say, is user. Okay, so after entering all the details, let's click on next and we will submit the form. So, our form is submitted. Now, let's go back on Public Connect, and here we can find that as soon as we have submitted the form, the response is automatically being captured over here. We have received all the details which we have entered in the lead gen form contact number, email, first name and the last name. So that means our integration is successful and now every time a person is going to fill that lead gen form, the response of the same will be captured here in Pabli Connect. Okay, now let's move towards our next step. So here in the next step, we want to send email to this particular person who have made the registration. Okay, so for that I am going to select the action application as Gmail and we will select the action event as send email. Okay, click on connect and here from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with Gmail account. If you want, you can also go with your existing connection. Click on connect with Gmail and now we have to select the account. After selecting the account, Public Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google account and it is 100% safe. So let's click on allow. 
okay so we have successfully connected gmail with public connect and let's move on and here we have to enter the details in order to send the email okay so first of all it is asking us for the recipient's email address now here we have to enter the email id of the person to whom we want to send the email we want to send the email to our facebook leads and we have received all the details of our facebook leads from our earlier response we are going to use the same response here in order to map the details now what is mapping mapping is inserting the data from our previous step so we just have to select our previous step like this and we will find all the details so here is the email we will select it and it is mapped now because we have mapped this data here instead of entering it manually every time whenever a new response will be captured from facebook lead ads automatically this email is going to be replaced along with a new email of a new lead okay but if we will enter it manually then it will become static and it is not going to change with every new response then the workflow will get stuck okay therefore in order to automate the entire process without doing anything manually we use mapping mapping is very important step of every workflow now we will move further and the next is sender's name so from which name we want to send the email here in case if you want to send email from different names every time then you can even map the sender name but here because i want to send the email to each and every facebook lead with the same name therefore i am going to enter it manually so i am going to enter the name of my company as sparkle evenings okay so because i have typed this name manually it has become static and it is not going to change with every new response that means every time a new response will be captured and the email will be sent to that new facebook lead the name of the sender is going to be same okay so wherever we want that the data should change according to the new response there we use mapping and whenever we want that data should remain same with each and every response there we type it manually and it is called as static mapping Okay so after entering the sender's name let's move on and the next is the email subject so because i want to keep the subject same with every email here i'm again going to type it manually so the subject of the email will be registration confirmed okay so this will be the subject now after entering the subject let's move towards the email content type it is going to be plain and now we will enter the email content so we have to enter the body of the content which we want to send in the email okay so here i'm going to enter hello and in the place of name i'm going to map the first name so that it could change with every new response and we can send customized emails to each and every facebook leads okay hello demo hello demo we are glad to inform you that your booking is confirmed for the upcoming event sparkle evening with us thank you for registering yourself the venue and timings of the event will soon be sent to you by our team member through sms on the contact number given by you and here in the place of contact number i am going to map the number which we have received from facebook lead ads response so that it could change okay thank you team sparkle evenings okay so this is the email content i have kept it basic you can definitely write the email content in the more creative and customized way according to your requirements okay here after entering the email content let's move on and if you want to attach any file document or image along with this email you can also add the url and the name of the file in these two fields okay so because here i do not want to attach any file therefore i am just clicking on save and send test request and we can find that we have received the response and the status is sent that means the email has been sent on the email id which we have mapped here okay let's go and check on this email id whether an email is received or not and here we can find that yes an email is received on the email id which we have mapped there okay hello demo we are glad to inform you that your booking is confirmed for the upcoming event sparkle evening with us thank you for registering yourself the venue and timing of the event will soon be sent to you by our team member through sms on the contact number given by you and the contact number is also given over here which we have mapped okay thank you team sparkle evenings so because we have received the email on the email id that means our workflow is successful up till now so let's move on and now we will move towards our next action step which is sending automated sms to the facebook lead with the help of fill you so we will click on this add action step and here we will select the action application as twilio with the action event as send sms message as we want to send message in the form of sms okay click on connect and we will go with the add new connection in order to build a new connection with twilio and as we have clicked on add new connection we have to enter three details over here account sid authorization token and again the account sid now from where we are going to find these details the instructions are given over here enter your account sid and authorization token in order to find these details you can click on this hyperlink 
okay so let me take you to my twilio account and here we can find that we have both the details account sid and auth token so first of all let's copy our account sid and we will paste it here in both the fields and after that we will again go on twilio account and we will copy our auth token and paste it here in pabli connect done click on save and with this our twilio account is connected with pabli connect now here we have to enter three details body of the sms sender number and recipient's number so when you will create your twilio account you will receive a sender number which you have to enter here so the sender number is the number through which the message is going to be sent okay so first of all let me enter the sender number here done and the next is recipient number so on which number you want to send the sms here we want to send the sms to our facebook leads so we will map the number which we have received from facebook lead ads response this is the number and done we will enter the body of the sms so here we have to enter the content of the sms what we want to send okay so let us enter the content let's say as hello in the place of name again i am going to map the first name here okay so that it could change hello demo so i have entered the body of the message hello demo here are the timings and venue details for the event venue abc auditorium random street bhopal timings 6:30 pm to 9:30 pm okay thank you sparkle evening so this will be the body of my message and in the place of name because i have mapped it it is going to change according to the new response again you can customize your message according to your choice we will move further and we will click on save and send test request but before that because i have used a dummy number in order to enter the details in lead gen form in order to send a real message we will have to use a real number here okay so here okay so i am going to enter a real phone number here in this field now we will click on save and send test request and here we have received the response along with the id of the message which is sent so because we have received this id that means the message has been sent now we will go and check the message and yes we can find that we have received the message hello demo here are the timings and venue details for the event venue and the timings thank you sparkle evening so because we have received the message that means our integration is perfectly successful so as we have successfully completed this workflow let's go back on pabli connect and we will summarize what we have done in this workflow So we have taken three simple steps here trigger and two actions in trigger we have taken facebook lead ads and in action we have taken gmail and twilio and we have connected all of them by using pabli connect in such a way that now whenever a new lead will be generated through facebook lead ads automatically by using the same response an email will be sent to the same lead and after that an sms will also be sent to the same lead so in the same manner by following the simple steps you can very easily create this automation which can help you to connect with your facebook leads by sending auto automated emails and sms okay so this was another video on lead generation series we are going to learn more such automations and lead generation strategies in our upcoming videos i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can easily integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can easily email us at support@redpabli.com if you want to ask any query you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you are having any pricing related issue with pabli connect you can easily reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation